Welcome back to Lights, Camera, Kit. We've all heard about FIRE, the music festival founded by Ja Rule and tech entrepreneur Billy McFarland that was supposed to offer the party of a lifetime, complete with hot Instagram models and an unexpectedly impressive lineup of artists performing on the beach. That went from hot to super not within less than 24 hours this past weekend. If you haven't heard, the Newbie Festival was supposed to be a three-day, two-weekend event held in the Bahamas that people dropped $1,200 to attend. But after just one night of music, the festival was canceled, and it's all anyone is talking about. So why didn't this self-proclaimed luxury festival offer influencers and elite guests the best experience of their life? One fire employee wrote a wonderfully embarrassing article about the festival's failures and the beginning of the end started when she said she realized the space where the festival was meant to take place was nowhere big enough to support all the artists and guests it was meant to. Upon arrival, the employee said that nothing was set up. Stages weren't even rented, transportation hadn't been planned, and the festival vendors weren't prepared. Who messes up this badly? Honestly, who? Then fast forward to the artists not even getting paid what they were promised to perform. Honestly, things are just a joke at this point. The festival planners quickly realized things weren't going as planned, obviously, and worked to come up with a course of action. That course of action would cost $50 million to pull off. Apparently, the only remotely intelligent person on the exec team suggested that the festival be postponed until next year, but one genius asshole said, let's just do it and be legends, man. And the festival continued. From there, bands started dropping like flies after Blink-182 pulled out and festival goers arrived to the island of Great Eczema to find that they were expected to stay in tents meant for natural disasters and eat sandwiches that were literally just bread and cheese. Literally, I'm not kidding, look at this. The next day it was announced the festival was unsurprisingly canceled. No shit. People who made the unfortunate trip to the island are using some fond terms for their experience, saying they might as well have been in The Hunger Games or on Survivor. <laughs> McFarland has since said that he faced the hardest day of his life on Friday when the festival was canceled, and Ja Rule says he's heartbroken. Like, okay, guys, but what about the poor people whose passports have been stolen and are actually stranded in the Bahamas now? For damage control, they promised to refund tickets, but we'll see if that's all one big hoax, too. I guess this fire has been officially extinguished. For more entertainment news, tune into Lights, Camera, Kate.